In case you didn't hear, Genki launched their fifth Kickstarter and surprise, surprise, just like the others, this one was also successfully funded. In 36 minutes to be exact. It's for their new Alpine collection that features updated versions of their covert dock, Shadowcast and Shadowcast Pro, all in this awesome white and transparent colorway, and Genki was awesome enough to send them our way so we can check them out together. This is Sergio AM. Welcome to It Came From A Box. Starting with one of the most premium yet portable docks out there, as well as our personal favorite, the Covert Dock 2.0. In the box we have the manual, a braided USB-C to angled USB-C cable, three global power adapters, and the Covert Dock 2.0. Love the look of this collection, transparent shells on tech never gets old, and it just looks so slick. Now it's about the same size as the original, and same goes for the layout. On the back, we still have that type A power prong, and it includes those three other global adapters that you can just slide on to use, which makes it great to travel with. On the front, we have those same three ports as before, but this time the USB-C has been upgraded from 30 watts to 45 watts, so it can keep up with the latest tech, such as the Steam Deck or phones and laptops. And the HDMI does the same by taking a leap from 1080p60 to now 4K60, which should make it future-proof for the next version of the Switch. As for the USB-A port, same as before, you can charge your tech with it, but it can also connect them to the USB-C attached device. So for example, if you hooked up your switch, you can use that port to add something like a wired controller. Overall, it's a worthy successor to one of the most versatile pieces of tech I've come across. Next up is the Shadowcast 2. For those new to it, it's the world's tiniest capture card that lets you hook up your console, be it the Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox, so you can then view, stream, and record your gameplay. In the box we get the Shadowcast, the manual, and a braided USB-C to angled USB-C cable. Same as the Covert Dock, it has this cool transparent design with a white bottom. And although it's the same size as the previous version, they've leveled it up with higher quality and more efficient components. It's been upgraded from USB 2.0 to 3.2, which gives it 10 times more bandwidth and can now support up to 1080p 60 capture quality. The HDMI connects to your console, and yes, it also works with the Covert Dock 2. And the USB-C cable connects to your PC. It's plug and play, and once connected, you can use it with either OBS or with Genki's Arcade via web browser. But because they make it so it's recognized as a webcam, you can also use it with Zoom, Google Meet, and other video conferencing apps. Then it can also go further with other devices such as your camera or iPad. Overall, it's a simple but powerful little capture card that's perfect for those looking to start streaming or capturing your own gameplay. Finally, we have their Shadowcast 2 Pro. Think of it like a juiced up version of the normal Shadowcast with all the same core features that you can use to view, stream, and record your console gameplay, but it goes further. In the box, you get the manual, an HDMI cable, a braided USB-C to angled USB-C cable, and the very slick Shadowcast 2 Pro. Love this gray and white transparent colorway. The design is slick, it's lightweight, and it feels well-made with this rubber-like plastic up top and a rigid shell throughout. Underneath, we have two rubber feet to keep it in place. On the front, we have an indicator LED bar, and on the back, we have our I.O. On here, we have a USB-C port to power and connect your PC or tablet, a new and highly requested HDMI port for zero latency pass-through. This other one connects to your console or other device. And then we have two 3.5 millimeter audio jacks for headphones, game controller audio, and an external microphone. So it supports 1080p at 120 hz and up to 4K at 60 hz but while other capture cards only support 4K 60 input, the Shadowcast 2 Pro supports both input and output so you can play and record at 4K 60. That, paired with their ultra-low latency, gives you that smooth and high-speed gameplay experience. On top of that, it also supports HDR and VRR, variable refresh rate, and it even has some additional iPad-specific features via their Genki Studio iOS app. There's much more to each of these, but I wanted to give you a quick overview. So if you like what you see and want to support them, check out their latest Kickstarter. Like I said, Genki was awesome enough to send these our way to share with all of you. So thanks to Genki. And no, they did not pay us to make this video, nor is this video sponsored. So watching, liking, and subscribing is what keeps us going. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Once again, I'm Sergio I.M. And I'll see you for the next box.
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to help us out, you can do so by clicking that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe for more content? It's free. We also love to hear you out, so please leave a comment down below or talk with us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Sergio IM, and I'll see you for the next box.